So I always have an issue when people ask me, how are you? And the reason I have issue with how are you is that most people don't mean it when they ask you, how are you? What I mean is that they don't mean how are you uh, as in maybe interested in hearing what the real answer is. Uh, how are you have just become a greeting. They say, how are you, expecting you to say, fine. And the, the problem I have is that when I ask somebody, how are you, I actually want to know, how are you? Um, recently, I asked a friend of mine, how are you? And he started to talk to me about what he's been going through for quite some time. Now, I've also been going through a lot for the past few months, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know. And, uh, but when he opened up and started to explain to me and tell me come, some of the things that he's going through, I realized that uh, I actually don't have a problem. I realized that I'm in a good place. Bearing in mind that I've been, you know, I've been in a bad place for quite some time, you know, praying, asking God, you know, God help me and everything. It's actually when you ask people, how are you for real, and wait to hear what they say, that you yourself will see that some of the problems you think you're going through is actually a little problem because people are going through a lot out there. And um, it started to make me ask the question, how do you deal with difficult times? What are we supposed to do in difficult times? You know, um, when, I asked, when I started asking this question, I got one answer, and I'm going to tell you what that answer is. But before I go there, I want to talk to you about the idea what difficult time really is. When we look at the word difficult time, it's got two things, two words in it, difficult and time. And I want to focus a little bit on the time part of that phrase, difficult time. Um... Time is, is, is the distance between where we are coming from, where we are, and where we're going. And time is tied to seasons. And seasons are tied to a system. A system is tied to the design of the whole earth, you know. When God made the heavens and earth and put the sun and the sky and the moon and all the elements, uh, he, he put them in a system, a system that is designed to make the sun rise and set, a system that is designed to bring about day and night. And these cycles form the seasons. And seasons I uh, uh, define as a block of time that, m that controls the event that happens in that time. Which brings me back to difficult time. Difficult time is simply a season in our life. Um, like the scripture says, there is time for everything. Uh, difficult times are just a season because... Uh, when you have difficult time, it means at some point you will have easy time or good time. If you have bad times, it directly means that you will have good time. The problem we have is that we don't know when the good time will come or when the bad time will come, at least most of us. But as I 
walk with God and try and understand, uh, I start to see that these things are in patterns. That, that, uh, 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 there is a pattern to good times and bad times. And the only way to know if you're going to have a good time is if you've been in a bad time. And the only way to know if at some point you're going to have a bad time is if you have been enjoying a good time. Now, it's not necessarily what we, most of us want to know or what most of us, how most of us want to look at it. But it is what it is. Um, when we are going through a bad time, I want to reassure you that it simply means that the good time will come. So don't give up. Uh, this year has been quite a difficult year for many people with the economic downturn. You know, the interest rate has gone up in South Africa specifically. You know, uh, in other countries, the, the economy is bad, bad government. You know, a lot of things happening in Africa right now. The coup in Niger, the proposed or purported military action that you know, uh, the ECOWAS is trying to take, there's all kinds of things going on in the world. People are going through a lot. So I'm here today to encourage you. And my encouragement comes in this form. I want to tell you that one thing you must know is that for the fact that you are going through a hard time, you should be happy because it means you're going to come to the good time. Uh, it brings me to the story of uh, Pharaoh's dream. You know, when Pharaoh had a dream of two, uh, two sets of dreams. The first one was when the, the skinny cows ate up the, the fat cows. You know, and another one where the, the, the ugly uh, corn uh, ate up the, the um, healthy corn. And... Uh, in a nutshell, I'm really paraphrasing here. Uh, and Joseph uh, interpreted the dream and it introduced the cycle of sevens, you know, which interpreted the the uh, interpreted Pharaoh's dream as seven years of bounty and seven years of famine. Now, most of us may not have sevens, but we definitely have patterns in our lives. Some of us, we have patterns of fives, twos, ones, one year of good, another year of bad, six months of good, six months of bad. Sometimes they are not even even. But immediately we start to notice the patterns. We start drawing strength in the fact that bad days will not last always. Troubled days will not last always. Troubles will not always be there. If you're going through a, prob a problematic time, if you're going through a hard time, it's just an indication that the good times are on the other side and they're going to be, they're going to come to pass. So, what should we do when we go through a difficult time? Here is the answer. When you're going through a difficult time, all you need to do is to stay alive. That's it. You must do everything possible to stay alive. Because it's only the living that will see the other side of the story. It's only the living that will see the end of the matter. It's only the living that will live to tell the story. And what does it mean to stay alive? What it means is that no matter what you're going through, you must find happiness from somehow from somewhere somehow you must find a way to do the things that keep you alive you must find a way to do the things that make you happy because I can't tell you this for free no matter how much you cry about a difficult time you cannot shorten it because things work in seasons they work in cycles you cannot shorten it, but what you can do is to find a way to cope and survive. And, and not just survive, but find a way to find happiness through a difficult time. Because 
uh, a, a lot of people say that uh, they are praying so that you know to shorten the time but I have never seen where prayer shortened the time what I've seen is where a prayer empowered people to go through and run the course and come to the other side now when we pray we're asking God for strength the strength that will help us make it through a difficult time now we must do whatever we we can to stay alive when Elijah was going through a difficult time and he he, he didn't want to eat he was just there he was feeling sorry for himself he, he, he wanted to you, you know he was even saying God take my life take my life I want to die now what use have I you know uh, uh, um, um, I, I want to die now and God is like bro like calm down you know you're not dying yet we're not done you know the angel said to him wake up and eat eat because you're going to need the strength you're going to need to stay alive to see the end of this journey I want to tell you today wake up and eat this word is metaphorical for so many things wake up no matter how hard it is you must find and do the things that gives you joy things that make you happy I was speaking to somebody yesterday and I, and I said well no matter what happens do not let what you're going through break your spirit because as long as your spirit is strong and your spirit stays alive you're going to make it through anything but if you allow the problems of this world, the troubles of life, the stress, the mental situations, the pressure at work, the stress at work, the stress at home, if you allow it to break your spirit, even when you make it to the other side, it will not be okay anymore. A lot of people are the shadow of themselves because what they went through broke them. A lot of people are still breathing, but they are dead men walking because what they went through has broken them you know it broke them when if you're going through a divorce do not let it break you you must stay alive if your husband is giving you hell do not let it break you you must stay alive you must do whatever you can to stay alive because only the living will tell the story if your wife is giving you hell, if your relationship is going down the drain, if, if life is, is dealing with you, find a way to find your peace. Find a way to make yourself happy. Find a way to survive and stay alive. Because if you die, life will go on. If you allow the pressure at work to kill you, the pressure at work will continue to be there even when you're gone. If you al allow uh, raising your children to become the source of your sadness and pain, even if you die, even if you kill yourself now, those kids will survive. I was telling somebody yesterday, if you allow what you're going through to kill you, it will not be the end of that. Life will go on. So what do you do? You find a way to stay alive. The angel said to him, wake up and eat. The scripture says when he ate, he stayed in the strength of that food for 40 days and 40 nights. The, the, the instruction of the angel did not shorten his journey, but he received the strength to make it through the journey. We are all in a journey. Whatever you're going through right now is a journey. It will come to pass. It will not stay there life is constantly moving everything around us is constantly moving even if we can't see it or we can't feel it we are moving the way you are today is not the way you were yesterday something is happening the earth is rotating in its axis and it's rotating around the sun no matter how bad you feel the things that god has designed will happen it and it and god says in 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 the scripture he says i will make all things beautiful in its time so there is time when things are going to be beautiful you may be in the time when things are not beautiful but it's not the uh, uh, it's not the only side of the story you know you may be in the rough side of the story but there is the smooth side of the story 
you may be in the fighting side of the story right now but there is the peace side of the story because there is no story that will be complete if it's one-sided you know if you're going through a difficult time right now you will come to easy time i promise you you know and i'm not saying if you pray it's going to happen no it's by god's design that what goes up must come down you know it's it's a system you know if there is rain there will be sunshine at some point if it's dark it's going to be light at some time at some point you know no matter what it is right now you're going through it will not last it will change so what are you going to do you must stay alive you must stay alive you must find joy you must do the things that make you happy if you love running you must run if you love hiking you must hike if you love writing you must write if you love singing sing if you love music listen to music play music watch movie whatever i mean while you're going through what you're going through do not let what you're going through to take away the love for the things you love because it will break your spirit and if your spirit is broken you just be a shell walking i've seen powerful people strong men and women go through you know there's a friend of mine that went through a stroke such a powerful person you know but it broke him even when he was healed of the stroke he was never the same he's now a shadow of himself do not let what you go through break you you must stay alive you must find life you must live because it is only the living that will tell the story like i said because the scripture says a living dog is better than a dead lion so stay alive find strength in everything that you do find a way to keep your joy to keep your peace because it may be bad now but your change is coming the good days are coming back the light will shine again it's been dry now it's been dry for some time but the rain is coming it will not continue to be bad you know i just came today to encourage you you know rise up eat something you know put yourself together go take a shower put on something nice go out be with friends have fun stay alive because you are going to need yourself intact to celebrate what is coming your way god bless you